2009 was an absolutely landmark year for Mercy for Animals. 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 It's a story that's sending shockwaves across the state. Video showing chickens allegedly being abused on this egg farm in Turner. Showing what the state's veterinarian today called deplorable and extremely disturbing. Capturing graphic examples of animal abuse and improper conditions, prompting state investigators to go to the farm today with a search warrant. They spent eight hours searching the facility, taking photographs, confiscating animals. Almost immediately, some of the largest grocery chains in the country responded to our investigation by cutting their supplier relationship with this company and urging for stricter and stronger standards to protect these animals. Egg production is perhaps the cruelest industry on the planet, and that abuse starts on day one. Today, a practices at an Iowa hatchery took center stage. This is not isolated abuse and runs rampant within the egg industry. This investigation was really the shot heard around the world, shining a bright international spotlight on this very dark, very violent side to the egg industry. As a result of the investigation, Mercy for Animals has also sent letters to 50 of the nation's largest grocery chains asking them to put warning labels on egg cartons. Male chicks are ground up alive by the egg industry. It would be a good idea for companies to put warning labels on products so people know what they're buying and how the products they're buying are made. There are over a thousand news stories around the world that brought to the forefront this violent side to the egg industry. The investigation video became the second most viral video on the internet the day after it was released and started a very rich and public dialogue and debate about our obligation to farm animals. Our investigation department grabbed headlines later in the year with an investigation into one of the largest pig breeding facilities in the country. This investigation sent shockwaves through the pork industry and through households across the country. When Fox National News broadcast this footage, we're going to show you some disturbing video of, of animal cruelty at a pig farm in Pennsylvania. We have and really revealed to many consumers for the first time the horrible cruelty and the life of neglect and of deprivation that pigs are subjected to. Of course, the most powerful thing that any consumer can do is to cut pork from their diet. Mercy for Animals billboard campaigns are literally taking vegetarianism to new heights. Some new billboards in the metro area are causing Denver's to do a double take. The provocative billboards are spread all across the metro area along highways and busy streets. In Denver, we launched over a dozen billboard campaigns, some of them featuring a puppy and a piglet, asking viewers, Why love one but eat the other? Another billboard pictures chickens inside a wire cage and asks the question, how much cruelty can you swallow? It's to get people to make the connection between their pets and foods. We took our bus ad campaigns to the largest city in the country, New York City. And we started a conversation about our treatment and obligation to farm animals and in the process inspired countless people to transition towards a healthy and compassionate vegetarian diet. In 2009, Mercy for Animals took its message to an international level, launching an ad campaign in Toronto, urging millions of riders to boycott animal abuse and to ditch meat, dairy, and egg products from their diets. This year, we released Foul Play, which is a documentary that takes viewers behind the scenes into some of the largest egg factory farms across the country. The incredible edible egg. Foul play is a call to action. It's a wake-up call for Americans. And this film has been seen at over a dozen film festivals from coast to coast. Any viewer that's seen the film walks away with an incredible opportunity for personal change to help become part of the solution and to save these animals. This year, Mercy for Animals teamed up with Compassion Over Killing and the Animal Protection and Rescue League to launch a campaign to get Boca, the meatless meal provider, to remove eggs from their products. Within just a few weeks of launching this campaign, Boca responded and said that they would be removing all eggs from all of their products by the end of 2009. This is a huge victory that will spare thousands of hens the inherent cruelty and life of misery of a battery cage. We held hundreds of outreach events this year. 
feed-ins are an incredible way to show people that a compassionate diet can also be a delicious diet. At our feed-in events, not only do we distribute free samples of veggie burgers and mock chicken, but we also provide information and resources to people so that they can start making that transition to a plant-based diet. This year, our team of leafleters distributed hundreds of thousands of educational brochures on factory farming and vegetarianism. MFA activists also staged eye-catching and headline-grabbing protests. We completely revamped the mercyforanimals.org website. We also launched mfablog.org. The incredible amount of impact that Mercy for Animals had in 2009 is a direct result of the volunteers, the activists, our supporters, and our donors, and their commitment to protecting farmed animals from abuse and building a kinder and more compassionate world for everyone.